Are you interested in moving to Edmonton but want to know why you shouldn't? Have you ever wondered what life in Edmonton is really like? So in this video, I'm going to give you five reasons why you should not move to Edmonton from a local Edmontonian. So for me, life in Edmonton is great. I really do love Edmonton. So it was pretty hard for me to come up with a list of five reasons why you shouldn't move to Edmonton. So none of these reasons were big enough for me not to come here or stay here, but they may be deal breakers for you. But before we get into the nitty gritty, go ahead and click that subscribe button and that little bell so you don't miss out on videos I post weekly. Okay, so getting right into it. Here's the five reasons why you should not move to Edmonton. Number one, you don't like winter? Don't move to Edmonton. I myself am not a super big fan of winter. How cold should you expect it to be here? Well, here's a point of reference. Your deep freeze where you store all your frozen food is usually set at zero Fahrenheit or minus 18 degrees Celsius. And I would say in Edmonton between November 1st and March 1st, you can expect in total, maybe not all together, four to six weeks of temperatures colder than minus 18. And speaking of wind chill, it's a real thing here. For example, a 30 kilometer wind can make minus 10 degrees Celsius feel like minus 20 degrees Celsius. You can also expect a very cold snap for seven to 12 days, at least once per season. So this is when the ambient or wind chill temperature drops below 30 degrees Celsius. We had like minus 40 this year already for, I don't know, 10 days. It was tough, but made it through and I'm not leaving. Number two. If you like really hot summers, don't move to Edmonton. Hot summers in Edmonton are really hit or miss. Some summers will see temperatures above 30 degrees Celsius, but on average, our high temperature is plus 25. However, we get so much daylight in the summer that I don't think you can handle if it was hot for that long. Number three, you enjoy quick access to a lake or beach, Edmonton is not the place for you. Now, this is probably the biggest complaint I hear from people who moved into Edmonton. I mean, there are lakes and beaches, they're just not very close and you gotta be careful which lakes you swim in. There's one popular community in Edmonton that has its own lake and beach. It's called Summerside, but you can only access it if you're a resident or a visitor of a resident. After hearing these reasons of why not to move to Edmonton, you still want to come here, but you're really interested in Summerside, check out my video on Summerside. Number four, you want to live close to the Rocky Mountains. Don't move to Edmonton. Though access to the Rocky Mountains is pretty easy, it's not that quick. You can get to Jasper in about three and a half hour drive, and you can get to Banff in about a four and a half hour drive. If you don't feel like driving, there is day trip buses that do go to and from Jasper. Number five, if you enjoy a humid climate, Edmonton is not for you. Edmonton is very, very dry. Most people that move to Edmonton are shocked how dry it is. Their skin, their throat, their lips, everything feels so dry, they just have a hard time managing it, especially in the winter. Summers aren't as bad. If you have a skin condition that flares up in really dry weather, it could be tough living here, even with the best humidifiers in your home. Our summers, though they're not as dry as the winter, they're still like a dry desert heat. There are some days where we get a little bit of humidity, but you will rarely feel this in Edmonton. Actually, it's something that I like about Edmonton. <laughs> I like to trade the lower humidities in the summer for the super dry winters. Call me crazy. These five reasons not to move to Edmonton can seem pretty bad, but in my opinion, there are far more reasons to move to Edmonton than not to. Stay tuned for my video on 15 reasons why you should move to Edmonton. If you found this information to be helpful, please go ahead and click the like button and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.